Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining uh, Code Forces Division 3, 739, Problem D, uh, named as Make a Power of 2. Quite interesting problem. Um, <clears throat> uh, basically in this problem we are actually like given, we're going to be given an integer n and what we have to do is we have to do some operations in order to make it as a power of 2. Okay, so what are the number of operations, what are the operations that we need to do in order to make that number n or manipulate that number n, uh, n's uh, digits such that it becomes a number which is the power of 2. Now, the operations are, um, yeah, sorry, uh, sorry for that. Okay, so the operations are like, you could either erase any digit of that initial number that you're dealing with other or you could use another another operations which is uh, you could add one digit to the right okay so that that's basically it that's the two operations that you can follow uh, or uh, uh, that you can do in order to make that number the power of two now what's interesting is that as they have told, the right at the moment that they told uh, that it's going to be, we, we're going to have to make power of 2, then I thought that, okay, what if we just calculate all the possible powers of 2 and then we, uh, we, we deal with all those numbers and as, as the number of, like, the number of powers of 2 is up to 10 to the power 18 are, like, not, uh, like, up to 60 so there are like 60 numbers which are up to 60 numbers which are like powers of 2 up to 10 to the power 18 which is not a big deal right which is not a uh, much amount of numbers so we could just easily brute force for all those numbers we could make that number a string and then compare that number string so called and our initial number okay we could just uh, compare uh, those two numbers and may, and uh, see how many operations that we could we need to get from that initial number to the number or to the power of 2 that i want to make and out of all the possible powers of 2's comparison i'm going to take the minimum one i'm going to take the minimum number of operations that i in, that i needed or that I had to make in order to uh, in order to make like uh, the power of two. Um, I hope you you're getting that. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. But first, yeah, let's let me explain how we did that. Uh, as they have uh, demonstrated one example here, we're gonna take that example as account. So. The general and the main observation is that number of uh, the the numbers which are the power of two are not that much up to sixty. Uh, if I recall that number up uh, up to ten to the power eighteen, so in the range of from one to ten to the power eighteen, the numbers could be up to sixty. There are sixty numbers such that they are powers of two. So that's not a big deal. That's why we're gonna brute force all those numbers. We're gonna make them a string. And we're going to make our initial number another string. And then we're going to compare those two numbers. Uh, 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 those two numbers, which, mean, which means that I'm going to compare all the possible uh, powers of 2 uh, with the initial number. Such that I could make from initial number uh, to, uh, if I want to make from that initial number to all the possible powers of 2, how much operations do I need? And out of all the operations, I'm going to take the minimum one. Now the question is, how are you going to compare it, right? So that's exactly why, uh, why I'm, I'm about to explain how did we try to uh, like compare each and every, uh, like for, for each and every powers of two to, in order to make each and every power of, powers of two. Okay, now that's exactly why I have already took one example here. Now, let's say our given number is 1052, 1052. Now I know that um, what uh, what are what were my operations? I could either delete any or I could either erase any digit I want, any digit I want, or either I could add one digit to the right. That's the two operations that I could uh, I could make. Uh, 
uh, in order to like uh, come up with a solution where we, where I can get a power of two numbers. Now, what I've told you, I will check all the possible two pa powers of two. So now, what are the numbers? I know one, which is two to the power zero, two, which is two to the power one, and then we have four, we have eight, we have 16, so on and so forth. And we also have 1024, which is nothing but 2 to the power 10, and so on and so forth, up to like 2 to the power 60. Okay, so I hope you're getting that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna like compare for all these numbers. Now the question is, how are you comparing them? How are you making sure that you're gonna you're getting uh, you're using that much of operations in order to make these all these numbers? Now let's imagine I'm comparing with the number uh, 2 first. So as uh, 2 has only one digit, it's not a better example, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm coming with the better one uh, for checking number 1024. But first let's just uh, deal with the number 2. So now I know that number, okay let's deal with number 1 first. Okay now I know that 1 is a power of 2, right? Now what I will do, okay, initially I will do is I will make that number a string and I will make my initial number another string and then the way I'm gonna compare is that I will try to find any subsequence of number any subsequence of characters from my initial uh, initial numbers which I'm gonna uh, eventually convert to string in order to compare these two values okay so let's just assume that this is a string and this is a string too now, each case, uh, the way I'm going to compare is that I'm, I, I will try to find the maximum subsequence that I can get from, this, from my initial string, which is nothing but the number itself, that, uh, uh, the number which is itself, which is the power of 2, any power of 2. Now, I will try to, uh, I'll try to lengthen the subsequence size as much as possible, okay? As much as possible. So, as you can see, 1052, okay? I have one, one subsequence, right? This is the one subsequence. Yes, I could get some uh, something like that. Now, what, what will happen for the rest of the characters? I'm going to delete it. Exactly what I'm going to do. If I want to make number 1052 to number 1, what I will do is I will delete two and the digit two and then five and then zero. Now, how many operations did I, uh, uh, um, I, I, I how many operations did I, did I need need it to, in order to make that number? Three operations, I deleted two, five, and then O. Similar case goes for number two, okay? So similarly, for each and every string, we're gonna compare like that. Now, let's uh, get into a more uh, better explanation for a bigger number. How about 1024? So far, okay, let's assume that so far we've got our better answer as 3. Uh, meaning that I'm going uh, I need, um, so far, just assume that we, uh, we had to take, well, so far the minimum number of operations in order to make the number as power of 2 is 3. Let's assume that, which was for 1 and 2. Now let's uh, assume that we have iterated each and every numbers until now we, we we have uh, like another number which is 1024 this is also a power of 2 now for this string we're going to compare let's see as i've told you i will try to make a the maximum length and subsequence okay from the string as of the string of the sub, of the of the string the power of 2 which is 1024 now let's see okay 1 is there Okay, that's good news. One is there, already there. Okay, we don't need to do any anything to this digit. We are for sure. And then we also found a zero. Okay, here we've got a zero two. We've got one, we've got zero. Now, is there any two after, after as, as we can see, our powers of two is n that number. After one and zero, we have two. Let's see if we, if, if we can find out two. Yes, we can find out two here. Okay, so so far from this initial string, we've got 102 as a substring. This is the maximum sub, uh, uh, like, subsequence. This is the maximum subsequence that we could make, like uh, that we could 
that we could have that uh, uh, from that number and for the rest of the characters what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna delete that so I'm gonna delete five so what we have till now is 102 so for these digits 102 we don't we didn't need to erase it or neither erase it nor add it we we needed to add nor we needed to add neither we needed to erase it we just had this so we're always going to try to uh, maximize the number of subsequ uh, the length of, uh, of the subsequence because the rest of the part is the characters that we're going to delete now the answer is not that yet because the substring the the subsequence that we got was 102 but still we needed some characters right we need a 4 how do we get a 4 so in order to get a 4 you are definitely required to do the second operations which is a character to the right now a character to the right what well, what we could add we could add 4 now how am i going to calculate that i'm going to add 4 just uh, uh, so far what we've got 102 so in order to make 102 how many operations that we needed to make we needed to make only one operation just erased we just erased the digit 5 now we need also need to uh, add a digit 4 how do we calculate that just simply uh, uh, just simply subtract uh, the number of operations that you made with the string of the powers of 2 which is nothing but 1024 think about it 1024 if you recall that as a string the characters would be 4 number of characters is 4 now how many characters that you are what is the maximum length and sub subsequence that you got which is 3 why is 3 102 definitely 102 you've got from 1052 so what is the rest of the characters that that is required in order uh, for you in order to add them in order to do the second operation I hope you're getting that so that's exactly what we're gonna do now let's uh, take you to the code section uh, so that you could understand more and and also one thing to notice is that I got wrong answer on the test case for first because of just because of uh, this maximum number I actually took the maximum number up to 10 to the power 13 or 14 and it did give gave me a wrong answer then I Increased that number up to 10 to the power 18 and it got accepted So you, you better make sure about that uh, these these sort of tight bounds uh, Yeah, so basically code is actually pretty easy just taking the number of how many what are the possible powers of twos and then making them as a string for each and every possible string we're just gonna do this is the code for this is the code section for uh, finding the maximum subsequence length from the given uh, integer of the number that we're dealing with for each and every powers of two that we are going uh, getting to come up with and after that the answer that we are required this is the number of operations that we needed eventually is that uh, initial string minus the maximum subsequence length plus now this part here uh, initial strings length strings length minus result result is referring to the maximum subsequence length as dot size this is the initial string this is the initial string size uh, the initial number eventually and uh, this part is actually calculating the first number of operations the number of oper uh, num the number of characters that we're gonna erase and this part is referring to the number of characters that we're gonna add so I hope you get that this temp dot size temp is actually referring to each and every possible powers of twos strings um, conversion uh, uh, string size minus the number of like maximum subsequence that we got uh, also we are always going to uh, try we are always trying to find how the maximum subsequence okay from the str initial string of the string which is required which is we needed to get our destination string so I hope you get that what I'm trying to make you understand uh, and out of all the possible outcomes we're gonna take the minimum number and finally just uh, uh, print that so yeah I hope you get that I hope you understand understood and yeah till next time goodbye